Hello and welcome to the People's News Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of January 10th, 2020. Today we got some interesting stuff on the table for you guys. To start off with, um, West Virginia's uh, state lawmaker who stormed the U.S. Capitol resigns from House of Delegates today. In other words, that uh, Republican that got hired by Texas for the Senate has basically quit because he videotaped himself at the riots on Wednesday. The um, several shots were fired at, I can't even say the name, this is, is typical Kenny something county. Yeah, the Democratic Party's uh, headquarters were basically shot the day, a few days after the riots. I you actually like the picture of that broken window, right? <clears throat> Officers were hit with rocks, bottles, and eggs, police said, and the crowd directed, uh, basically directed pepper spray at them. Trump supporters counter protesters clash in San Diego. Man, will, will the protests ever end over uh, Trump being fired? I mean, come on, really? Joe Biden on Friday said that he was glad that President Trump would not attend his inauguration after this month, calling the president an embarrassment who is unfit to serve. Multiple organizations have reported that there are discussions among government leaders to invoke the 25th Amendment, which would remove President Donald Trump from office and allow Mike Pence to finish his term. Um, President Trump's Twitter account is gone. As you all know, he's been banned from all, all the social media. But the National Archives will receive a preserved record of his tweets after he leaves office on January 20th. The Pope appealed to a high sense of responsibility by leaders to calm souls and prevent further violence. U.S. Capitol Police Officer Howard Lean, well, Levin, Levin Good, I think it is, died by suicide on Saturday, according to his to reports. And Speaker Pelosi says she discusses taking the nuclear codes away from President Trump. The situation of this unhinged president could not be more dangerous, and we want, we must do anything we can to protect our nation and American people from his unbalanced assault on our country and, and our democracy. President Trump will not resign, nor will he turn over power to Vice President Pence and ask him for a pardon, according to top White House advisors. So basically, he's not going to give up his role. He's going to live out his last, what, 10 days before he gets booted out? And I can't wait to see that one, because I bet you it's going to be taken out by the military. Iraq's judiciary has issued an arrest warrant for President Donald Trump in connection with the killing of their general and a powerful Iraq military leader last year. Militia leader, sorry. So basically, we have people that want, well, we already knew about Trump winning a arrest warrant from last year. I mean, I think I actually reported about that as he killed their, their top general, saying that he was thinking about doing it, so I just wanted to stop him from doing it. Um, Lehigh University has rescinded the honorary degree it awarded to President Donald Trump more than 30 years ago. <laughs> so it was funny. I mean, they gave him an honorary degree, and now they're taking it away from him. Isn't that nice? Writers are facing um, re re repercussions at work for their participation in storming the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday. Yeah, they're not going to be too happy when they go back to work and they get found out who they are because they're going to pay for it. The Democrats say the ease of which writers were able to get into the U.S. Capitol suggests someone on the inside was part of the salt. So this is saying they have, they have an insider inside the Capitol that let them in so easily. But, I mean, I don't know how, how secure the Capitol really is, but I'm assuming it's pretty secure, so he might be right. And then FBI agents raid the homes of former Tennessee House Speaker and other Republican allies early Friday morning as a part of an unspecified corruption probe. A uh, probe, that's right. They're going to probe them. Two Republican senators now say President Trump should resign as support for the drive to impeach him a second time is gaining momentum in his final days in office. Actually, I think they should impeach him because if they impeach Donald Trump, 
that means he can't run ever again. And North Texas attorney says he lost his job because of a Twitter mob after a video he shared on social media showing him protesting outside the Capitol building on Wednesday. So basically, a North Texas lawyer got fired. Now, what do you expect when you go there and you, and you cause damage and you kill people? You think he's going to be left going to be peachy after that? I don't think so. And as far as news goes, that would be the news part of my segment for you guys. So I hope you guys actually enjoy the next part. Because hopefully the next part will actually be worth your time to watch. Because it is basically about the stimulus. I'm not going to talk about what happened on Wednesday anymore for my stimulus part. Because everyone knows what happened. So why dwell on it, right? Well, Biden wants trillions of dollars in the new, aid, in the new stimulus aid for the Americans. And renews his $2,000 stimulus check goal. That's right. He still wants a $2,000 stimulus check goal. But does he want to give them $2,000? Or does he want to give them $1,400? But he already got $600. I mean, I haven't received my, stim my second stimulus check yet. And I'm not really worried about it. Even though it would be nice to have it. I mean, it would be really nice to have it, actually. I mean, what else might Biden push for as far as stimulus goal? The stimulus goes. Well, Senator Ron Wyden wants to revive the $600 a week unemployment boost, but he has opposition that don't wish to do this. There are other Senate Democrats that don't want to because they already passed the $300 a week unemployment boost, but Biden will most likely push for an extension and probably an increase in the FPC, FPUC as well as other things. And as far as the stimulus checks, extended unemployment, what else is there? Well, Biden will call on Congress to forgive $10,000 in student debt to all borrowers. It's basically everyone that has a student loan debt, he's going to call on Congress to forgive you, forgive you of $10,000 of that debt. And he actually extended the payment, the payment pause that expires at the end of this month. This might rile up some of the progressive Democrat members. In Congress, why you might ask? Well, I'll, I'll actually originally ask because Wyden believes the president can do this uh, student loan forgiveness through a push of a pen and not through Congress. In other words, he's saying he could do it through the executive actions and not have to worry about going to Congress to get it done. But what else does Biden want to push for? Well, he wants to push for more vaccine distribution funding. He says he wants a hundred million dollars. Sorry, he wants a hundred million shots given out in his first hundred days of office. I mean, what do you mean about how he wants to give out more than a third of this country's doses to the people within his first hundred days? Well, let's see if that happens, right? And well, I hope the vaccine distribution funding money wouldn't be well actually would be separate from the actual stimulus bill. Because Biden's push for a multi trillion dollar stimulus bill most likely would get pushed back by the Republicans in the Senate. He may even be pushing for a state and local government funding. As, as we all know, Pelosi and Schumer want state and local government funding. Biden has expressed a, his continued his, yeah, concerns over state and local government funding because over 1 million state and local, government, uh, local employees have been fired. Or, or laid off, or furlough, or whatever you wish to call it, basically, right? Biden will also, also push for more money for schools because he actually wants them to go back in back to in classroom learning, which is a good idea. He also mentioned raising the federal minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour, but I believe raising the minute, the federal minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour is going to be a separate fight by itself compared to the stimulus package. I mean, those are going to be two two separate fights. But let's hope that uh, he actually gets the federal minimum wage put up to fifteen dollars an hour. Because come on, it's like what 2021. We've been at the the federal minimum wage uh, seven twenty five an hour for how long now? It's about time we raise it up and give the people what they deserve. I mean, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to a new job and get paid seven twenty five an hour. That's not good enough to live off of. That's just like oh wow, a four hundred dollar paycheck. How nice. That doesn't do no good. Right, 
So let's hope he actually gets that one passed. But this is my stimulus update for, for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button and let me know. And comment on anything you want during any of my videos. And I'll reply as fast as I can. Until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. And I'll broadcast game you guys tomorrow. Bye.